Hello and welcome back to IXL Tutorials. This is Mr. Duffick and today we are doing IXL N12 which is really just a review of everything we've done in N so far. So N1 through N11. They're just going to give you a series of review problems and they're cherry picking from all the IXLs uh, anywhere between N1 and N11. So they're going to give you a series of diagrams usually of different quadrilaterals whether they're parallelograms uh, like a rhombus maybe a square or a rectangle, a kite, a trapezoid, something like that. Uh, and uh, they're just going to ask you to solve for certain lengths or certain degree values based out of uh, what you've already learned. So this first problem just gives us a parallelogram and it asks us to solve for the missing variable z. Okay, so we know for a parallelogram that the opposite sides are going to be congruent or the same. They're going to equal each other, right? meaning these two sides are going to equal each other and the other two are going to equal each other as well. But they don't give us any kind of length for the other side to compare this side to. So we're going to actually stick with these two for now just to solve for z. So since they equal each other, we're going to set them equal to each other. So we'll do 9z minus 23 equals z plus 25. And then we are going to combine like terms on both sides. Okay, and then I'm going to add 23 to both sides. So we are left with, let's see, across that out, across that out. 9z minus z is 8z, which is equal to 25 plus 23, which is 48. Okay, then we will just divide both sides by 8. And that is going to equal 6. So z is 6. Okay, another parallelogram, find z, just set them equal to each other right there. Not a big deal. I'm going to skip all the way to 68. Uh, we have another parallelogram here. Okay, so it wants you to find um, uh, what st and qt are. This is just like a problem we did back with the uh, whatever IXL was, n whatever. And all you're going to do here is you are going to um, set these two sides equal to each other and figure out what uh, QT equals eventually, right? You're gonna figure out what Z equals and then plug Z in. And then you're going to use that information uh, to also plug Z over here and figure out what this side is and then figure out what your answer is. And so now, uh, once you get to a smart score of 90 or above, just like the rest of the IXLs, uh, they're gonna give you a series of yes or no questions, basically just asking you to identify whether these uh, shapes are certain shapes. So for instance, is this parallelogram a rhombus? And remember a rhombus, uh, all four equal size. So can we prove that this parallelogram is a rhombus? Well, we know that these angles are all the same, meaning these opposites are gonna be the same, that's good. Uh, and because the angles these are at, these lines are going to go up at the same angle and therefore also be the same length, same deal as over here. And since all four are the same, that means all four of these are going to be the same as well. So that is going to be a yes. Okay, so I'm just going to stop the video here. Again, it's just a review of everything you've seen. Um, if you are confused on a certain problem, just go back to the IXL in the N category that has to do with that problem and uh, do a little more practice. Okay, take care. See you later and study hard. Goodbye.